Okay, so this is going to be a very quick tutorial on, on understanding website structure. You can think of the main domain of a website as the starting folder for what you can see on the website uh, via FTP. Now, what I'm looking at here is all of the website files, which you see over here at destroyevil.org. Um, if you go to, for example, you want to access one of the files uh, inside of uh, the starting folder, which is usually called public HTML. Sometimes it can be called www root or even something else, depending on how the server is configured. But for the most part, the starting folder of any website is called public HTML. And public HTML is basically the same as uh, www.yourdomainname.extension.com.org, whatever. So in this case, public HTML is the same as destroyevil.org. So if I want to access a specific file inside the directory public HTML via my browser, then I would, for example, we're going, we will use wilderness.php here. For example, I'll, all I would need to do is forward slash and then the name of the file and then it would uh, be available, or then it would show up in my browser. All right. So, um, in the same way that you can create folders and subfolders on your computer, you can also create fo you know folders and subfolders on your website. So, uh, let me show you an example. I'm going to make a new directory. Actually, I'll make a new directory in my local website folder, which I have named example website c drive backslash example website dot com. It doesn't matter what the folder name is here. It only matters that you um, that you can upload them to your your server side, which is over here. Um, <clears throat> so this is the uh, Windows Explorer view, and I'm just going to create a new folder. Call it uh, uh, ex example. If I go back to my FTP, I can see there's an example folder here now. And if I go inside my example folder, I can create a new simple file. Um, I'm going to create a uh, uh, HTML file with some program, Notepad, I guess. Where is Notepad? Uh, whatever. I'm going to dig up an old file since I can't find Notepad. Alright, so this file here, oh, there's Notepad, uh, this file here is <clears throat> called index.php. It can also be index.html. The thing about um, the index file is that uh, it will always be the first file that you see when accessing either whatever directory is the directory that you're viewing in your browser. So, if uh, I'm looking at destroyevil.org without any file name. It's just going to load up index.html or index.php, depending on which one you have in there. Both will work. So if I want to, um, um, if I go ahead and upload uh, actually uh, example.php to my website, you can see example folder is here now index.php is in there and if I go to forward slash example it will load up the file that I just created which just says hello world and that's all so <clears throat> if I want to create another file inside for you know for example uh, another um, I don't spell very well but whatever Another file in here, and if I want to access this one, this time it's at forward slash example, another.php. It will not work here because it's inside of the example folder, which is here. All right, and that's it. That's uh, about all there is to understanding website structure. Basically, the same as you know, sync, you know, copying. Um, files between two folders on your on your desktop 
if, if you open up two folder windows and you want to copy one to the other, uh, you just drag and drop. And it works the same way. It will be assigned to its directory on the website folder or on the, on the website uh, server, and you will access it um, instead of instead of by t typing like C drive backslash uh, my files backslash my my folder. It's uh, um, accessed at uh, my domain name dot com forward slash my files my folder whatever. And that's it.